guitar is one of the most rewarding and fun hobbies you can do. But many people shy away from it because it, they think it's too hard to learn. But with some basic knowledge of the guitar, so, some easy ways to hold different chords, and how to strum those chords, it's pretty easy to play. That's what I'm going to teach you today. Some basic knowledge of the guitar is, this is called an acoustic guitar. The sound comes from the body, which is this big piece here, the main part of the guitar. The sound goes through the sound hole here, resonates, and then bounces back, and that's what you hear. The next thing you need to know is called the bridge. The bridge is where the guitar strings are held in the body. These little pegs, if you can see them, they hold the string, each individual string into the guitar so they, you can strum them. The next thing you need to know about is the neck. This is called the neck. This is where the frets are and where your left hand that's the, you make different notes with. The frets are these individual little metal bars along the neck. A normal guitar usually has about 20 to 24. Most acoustic guitars have about 24 frets. Next thing you need to know is the head. The head of the guitar is this piece here. This holds the tuning knobs. The tuning knobs, which are these pieces right here, you can use them to tune your guitar. You can make different, you can get different sounds with them like this, like that. You could hear the slight little difference there. And then the next thing you need to know is the strings. The strings, there are six of them on the guitar. Each one has, an, has a letter or a note. This one, the first one is called the low E string. The next one is called the A string. Next is the D, G, B, e, and then the high E string. Many people get the high E and the low E mixed up. The next thing you need to know about is holding different chords. There are a lot of beginner chords that are really simple to play. First off is the E minor chord. The E minor chord is played by placing your first index finger on the second fret of the A string. The next one, the next place you hold next finger is your middle finger on the second fret of the D string. And when you hold your chords with your left hand here, you want to hold them with your fingertips. You don't want to put, use the flat part of your finger because then you'll be hitting other strings and you won't get the clear sound that you want. The E minor chord sounds like this. Pretty cool. The next easy chord that you can learn how to play for most beginners is called the C chord. Place your index finger on the first fret of the B string, your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and then your ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Sounds like this. Also pretty cool. The next one that you should most beginners need to know is called the A string. The A string or the A chord, I mean, is played with the first fret or your first fret index finger on the first fret of the B string. Then you place your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and then your ring finger on the second fret of the G string. Pretty cool. And the last one that's pretty easy to put, use and a lot of songs use this chord is called the D chord. The D chord is played on the second fret, index finger, second fret of the of the G string, first fret, or your ring finger on the second fret of the high E string, and then your middle finger on or your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. Sounds like this. The next thing you need to know is how to strum these chords. A lot of people like to play with what is called a pick. This is called a pick. You hold it by placing your on your index finger like that, like so, and then just laying your thumb over it so you're holding it like this. And a lot of people it's kind of just how it's a bunch of feel and however you like to hold it. A lot of people hold it different ways. And the thing you need to know about playing chords 
is there's different strumming patterns. You strum, there's down strum, down stroking like this, down, and then there's up, where you're going up on the strings. And when you strum down, you kind of want to have an angle, angle your hand, pick downwards, and then when you're strumming up, angle it upwards. That way you glide through the strings. You don't, you're not making big, loud, chunky noises, and it sounds a lot better. So in summary, playing guitar is really easy. All you need to know is some basic knowledge of the guitar, how to hold each different chord, and then how to strum them. And in no time, you'll be playing songs like this.